Gary Tuddenham is a very talented young cabinet maker, but is he the best under 23 year old in the world? At the 2007 World Skills event in Japan, he was up against 21 others in a four day skills competition. Back in the UK, in the run up to the competition, Gary's day job is working at the Edward Barnsley Workshop, a bespoke furniture maker in Hampshire. It's the perfect environment to hone his skills, as excellence in the workplace is something that is taken very seriously. Everything we do, it has to be perfect. If it's not perfect, you do it again. Um, and when you start here as an apprenticeship, it doesn't matter how long it takes, it's got to be right. And then from there, you move on. So if there's something not right, you've got to do it again. So then from that, you move on. Um, and then you've got to do everything right, but quicker and quicker and quicker. To be able to, to do that now here, hopefully that sets me in good stead to go out there because hopefully I've done all the hard work, I've just got to prove it on the day. At WorldSkills, competitors were presented with plans for an intricate Japanese cabinet. It had to be built with extreme dimensional accuracy. But for Gary, working from plans of a project that he hasn't seen before is something that he's well used to. In Japan, he had to fabricate a base for the cabinet using finger joints. He had to iron on veneer to panels, cut and fit door handles, and construct a drawer with dovetail joints. A relatively simple task on the surface, but speed and accuracy would be at the core of the task. But would Gary's core skills and his technique set him apart from the rest of the competitors? A lot to do with it is being very precise, but made to be able to be precise, you have to be very organised. So to know where everything is, your work area is clear, um, so that things like shavings and stuff don't get stuck underneath, so you don't get dints and all that sort of stuff. It's just being organised and efficient. He's got an interesting technique using a toothbrush and toilet paper to clean up his joints after gluing. And after years of practice and intensive training, Gary's capable of working to minute tolerances. You can never assume anything. You've got to check the size of everything. A tenth of a mil here and there um, makes a massive amount of difference. When I was doing some of my training, a mortise and tenon, um, if you do it with calipers, make it exactly the same size. It won't, it'll be slightly too tight, but a tenth of a mil under, um, it'll have wobble on it, so it'll mark you down for it. So you've got to find, it's like half a tenth, so you've got to find that balance to get it right. And he's honed these skills through years of hard work, striving for excellence. Everyone can tell you how to do it, but until you actually do it yourself, and they're all wrong, it'll click in your head where everything needs to be. Okay, say three tenths of a millimetre, you can measure that, but it's all to do with eye and knowing how you've done everything before to know how much to set it out by. So it's just practice. At the end of the competition, the judges were thoroughly impressed with the level of detail, accuracy and quality of Gary's cabinet. Those dovetails are extremely good. And the finger joints. <laughs> but was it good enough for gold? Gary won the competition by a huge margin. He's a young man with exceptional skills, and his gold medal confirms his place as the best young cabinet maker in the world.